I'm home cold, just standing trial. Why ain't I see you around by when I was What's up, world? It's your boy Big Court at a Holding Court Podcast here with my oldest daughter, Rachel Renee. What's going on with you? What's up? And my <laughs> partner in crime and podcast crime, yes, sir. producer Ken. <laughs> Yes, sir. We here. We, we here. Did, we did it. I don't have the fog on. I, feel, I know. I, I wish a, we had the drink bo, 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 champs bo, 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 bo. thing. Yeah. I wish we had some, some Nori shit. Nori, man. Send us some of the Solomon, special effects. Make, you you got to clap for us and do yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Come on. <laughs> we, we reached here. 100K. 100K, man. We want to thank everybody. Thank 100K all the subs. 100,000 100, subs on YouTube, man. And we couldn't do it without y'all. We appreciate the support. It's been, what, two years? We started this journey two years, two years ago. Two years. Yeah. And, um... What I can say, Ken. So let me give y'all a brief history. So this, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna cross my legs like. Oh, yeah, he just got so uh, <laughs> fireside chat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so listen, people don't see the funny. Yeah, shit. yeah, that's right. We be very, we're serious on this. Yeah, on yeah, the all the time we yeah. all poised and shit, but yeah. this is how we get down. But no, we get appreciate y'all. We appreciate y'all getting us to 100k. But what I want to <laughs> say is, when this journey started. I honestly didn't know what we were signing up for. And that's the truth. Like during COVID, we had a lot of downtime. You know, I'm mm -hmm. sitting back watching podcasts, watching stuff. And me and this man, me and Ken, for years, we would just talk on the phone about music. We would be talking about 90 yeah. for hours. Yeah. I mean, he would call me about something, just whatever. And then it'd go, man, the other day, man, I was listening to that Mr. Doctor, bro. Or I was listening <laughs> to Lynch and it was just so one day we said, man, we should do a podcast and just and, talk and mind about you, this is before podcasting. This is before podcasting. It was. Yes. It yes. was. Yes. And this I ain't is. saying sh all respect to the ones that exist. Right. They just at that time it wasn't a big thing. Though. It wasn't a thing. It uh -huh. wasn't a thing. And so we would talk about music, man. I'm talking about from ghetto boys, all of that. So we said, well, man, we should do a podcast. You know, the podcasting came up, I guess, during COVID. Yeah. We was like, man, we should do a podcast. And uh yeah. and so one thing I can say is how it started and what we had in our mind, it became something much bigger. Mm -hmm. It became something much bigger. Because the first time we filmed, we thinking it's just going to be me and him talking and just talking music. But we had the first round of guests. We had Michael Jai White. Yeah. Shout out to Mike. We had X-Ray. He was the first guest, remember? He so, was the uh, very Mike, first guest. Mike, I got to apologize. He was the first guest and we didn't know what he was doing. He was here on for like four hours. Four what? hours. It was the longest show. We, four hours. I'm sure about Mike, even though he's a, a friend of the show, by the end, he was looking at his watch. Like, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. these guys don't know how to podcast. It, it, it's funny. Mike four was, hours. Yeah. Mike was looking at me kind of like, yeah, I don't know what else you want me to say. Like, yeah. Like, you know, it's we didn't even know how to end it. <laughs> if, you, if you go back to that episode, I didn't even introduce him. I didn't even introduce oh, him. Oh, really? We just start talking. No. I was just like, yeah, what's up with you, man? I appreciate you for coming. Not even taking into consideration yeah. people are listening, you know. Uh, um, but that was right. But yeah, we we had we had X-rated. We had some great guests, man. We've had we've had about 60 guests. Yeah. Yeah, Ice yeah. T, Ice T, Jay twice. Prince, Jay Prince, uh, all the Bones, with the exception of Matt Wish. Barnes, Matt Barnes, yeah, all, all Bosco. The bones. Uh, shout out to our our guests that that spin the block, Crip Ice Mac. T, Crip Mac, yeah, Bosco, Yuck Mouth, Yuck, mm. Yuck, did a few Yuck. times. Um, who else? Sebo, we've had Sebo, we've had some of my legends. Sebo, X -rated, X rated, Tech Nine, um, Jasmine Lewis, um. Uh, but, Miguel Nunez, yeah, big Miguel, job, We've big had, job, mean, yeah. But, watch homie Quan. That's some of my favorite episodes. <laughs> watch homie Quan spent yeah. the block. Yep. I think he's been here twice, two yep. or three times. But but then there's the other side. And watch didn't even want. <laughs> you said what? There's a whole story with the watch homie Quan. Oh yeah, yeah, about. yeah, yeah. But he yeah. was mad at you. Yeah, yeah. He was, watch he homie Quan. He almost didn't do the show. We, we got into it uh, initially uh, over social media. Me and watch homie Quan. Yeah, yeah. For what? It was in behind Crip Mac. Oh, behind okay. Mac, but we end yeah. up squashing it. But you know, along this journey too, we've lost some people <clears throat> as well. Fuck. So I'd be remiss if I didn't. And give some love people to that them. reached out that but didn't make it. Gonzo, so, man, rest in peace. Rest in peace to Gonzo. Gonzo uh, lost his life a week before he was supposed to come to the yep. show. Rest in peace, uh, Gonzo. OG Lil Bop, OG Lil yep. Bop. Um, that works with Watts Homie Quan. <clears throat> excuse me, from BPS. We talked. He was supposed to come to the yep. show. He got rest killed a week before. Uh, Gangsta Boo. Fuck. Gangsta Pooh. I remember having a whole combo in the kitchen about yes. getting her over here. Yes. Yep. That was and crazy. I, and I, and I mean, it was, 
when we say this, it's not like, oh, we was thinking about these are people who we were. These are people who were scheduled, who, who were slated to come to the show and, and just, and just passed it. away before they made it. And um, then people that have been on the show. And Gangsta Boo, um, I have to, yeah, because Ken, that was me. Uh, they kind of dropped the ball with Gangsta Boo. Yeah. That was me. Um, it was, because I was like, let's do it, bro. He was like, let's do it. Yeah. I was on some other, um, you know, shout out Boo, man, you know, rest in peace to Boo, because that was my homegirl. Yeah. She had pissed me off. <laughs> no, that's, that's <laughs> real. That, that's off. Look, the, the dynamic that people don't see with me and Court, because we've gone to other places, too. Because yep. we've traveled around on this journey, too. Yep. This is true. And we've gone to other places, and Court be getting in this feeling sometimes. He's a sensitive <laughs> guy. <laughs> And most of the time, yeah. I have to be like, yo, <laughs> hold, hold on, bro. Like, it, it's still worth doing this thing. Yeah, or, yeah. or let's not go off the deep end. Yeah. That lion come out. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, yeah. Awesome. And it's okay. I, I, yeah, and I yeah, understand it. But I think, you know, it's also a space where it's like, what? Well, it's a scheduling conflict yeah. or something, bro. Yeah. Like, it's not that serious. That's right. And still worth doing. Yep. And so we were, I mean, we had got to the point where we were going to still do Gangsta yes, Boo. We, we sure you were. was just in your feelings that time because yep. of my scheduling thing. Yep, that's right. Um, that's right. But, but yeah, no, I <laughs> definitely had to pull him off the ledge <laughs> a couple times or he ready to jump. <laughs> now, hold yeah, on, hold yeah. on, bro. Yeah. So whose idea was it to start bringing guests? Well, real quick, real quick. Oh, yeah. I want to show love and also uh, to, to the people the, that we did lose, yeah. uh, Big Zoe. Yeah, big soda, soda, roaster. soda roaster. You know, yeah. rest in peace. Rest in peace, NorCal legends. Just rest yeah. in peace. Yeah, and Lil Sodi. Lil Sodi. Oh, man, yeah. man. And body. I love, hey, real talk. I love, dude. He was Lil genuine Sody. spirit. Such a beautiful dude. And of course, <clears> I went to his funeral. Um, uh, And shout out to the Sodi family. Shout out to Lil Sodi, baby Sodi, his sisters, his yeah. brothers, Um, you know, and the whole ETGC Afro man, all of that. Yeah, Sodi was a good dude. You know? Was. Genuinely. Yeah, genuinely, I remember. I remember coming in because I knew him, but mm -hmm. I was like, you know, sometimes you do these shows, and I was like, I don't know if this, is... and it ended up being one of my favorite episodes. And this is the thing, I go and on it record. did well this year, or or in two thousand twenty three. Yeah, uh, Lil Sodi was probably our best interview. It probably did the most numbers. Yeah, at, yeah. outside of Ice T, mm -hmm. outside yeah. of Ice T, Ice T, and then Lil Sodi. Totally. It was surprising, but it did. Yeah. yeah. But, it, I mean, it was a good interview. It was a great interview. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so rest in peace to Lil Sodi, man. And, you know, we're going to still represent for him. Yeah, man. And, and I appreciate the time that everybody takes to come here. Absolutely. Or, or even people be that we lost that were willing to come and just didn't get a chance to make it. Uh, exactly. So, so yeah, much love to the families of yeah. all, everybody we just mentioned. For sure. What was you saying, uh, baby girl? Oh, and I said, whose uh, idea was it to start bringing guests? If yeah, if it was just gonna be y'all, because remember, I was in Kansas all right, I'm gonna City. Tell, when I'm you gonna started. tell you my recollection. I'm gonna tell you my recollection because back to, to, to tag on to what he said, we we would always pick up the phone and talk about rap since mm -hmm. since o two o three since you was a baby, yeah, <laughs> and since before you were born. Mm -hmm. I don't, it's yeah. been a long time, right? Yeah. Um, and then I want to say. It was TV show. I, you know, I have all these studios and I'm working in TV. Mm -hmm. And then we had show ideas. Like, I don't, I don't know if I should I say the show ideas that I feel like was ganked from you. Yeah, okay. I was yeah. gone. So like we we was talking about unsung. Yep. And doing an unsung yes. before unsung existed. That's right. It's Brentwood days. Yep. Yeah. So for sure, because I came to that yes. apartment with Pimp and Mike. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Pimp and Mike. Yeah. 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 So uh so we we were talking about show ideas and then when you guys moved to Woodland Hills, mm -hmm. we actually shot something with P. Yep. We shot a pilot of yep. something totally different. We were exactly. gonna do architects yep. of gangster rap. Then that's it was architects was. of hip hop oh, yeah. and then yep. And, and we sat Master P down for an interview because that's mm -hmm. his brother. Mm -hmm. And so we sat him down at your house and mm -hmm. did that. And then that didn't really, we were trying to do reenactments with that yep. and all sorts of shit. <laughs> Dramatization. Yeah, we, we did, did it with P's that. boys, yep. like with his, his son. son. Yep. And yep. so we did reenactments of moments mm -hmm. with Big Ed and shit outside we the club. Yep. And, then, and then it turned into, yeah, we kind of pushed that pilot around. Maybe that's not the move. Maybe we just go to people's hood and talk mm -hmm. to them directly. Right. And we're going to jump in lowriders. Yep. That was the initial idea. Yeah. And then we're going to yep. cruise to people's before the podcast, before yeah. the idea of the podcast. So so I can't say we initially wanted to do a podcast. Yeah. We was just talking about trying to tell these stories mm -hmm. because I think genuinely we loved the, the era that we came from. Exactly. We was like, man, I, I mean, this man loves Spice One, his favorite rapper. And mm -hmm. I was like, man, I love Spice too. We both mm -hmm. did songs with yep. him. And so we was like, hey, nobody tells these stories going back to Unsung and 
everything else, but we kept just hitting roadblocks with ideas. Like mm -hmm. this didn't pan out. That didn't really work. Low rider idea. We never yeah. really jumped on it. <laughs> yeah. And then it was really him. It was really him during COVID. It was like mm -hmm. talking about this format yep. yes. of a show. Yep. And and uh and then I let you pick it up. And from then there. from there, <clears throat> man, what we were fortunate enough to do though, and <clears throat> and I think it's like this is why I always tell the younger generation, it's always good to keep your face card clean and keep solid yep. relationships because when you do that, people will show up for you, you know. So this is why we were able to get the Jay Princes, you know, the Ice T's and the mm -hmm. Michael Jai Whites. And think about it. The first time that we shot, we didn't have, I mean, everybody showed up, right? Everybody yeah. showed up. We had one we had scheduling. Sticky came in that Sticky first came, round. Yep, yep. Sticky came in. Uh, we had one conflict uh, of uh, scheduling, which was, I think it was Gorilla Black. But he yeah. ended up coming back, though. Yeah. yeah, he was the only one. Uh, but... The, the, what I can say is that it, this 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 podcast and journey it is it was it's more to it than what I thought it was going to be. You a know, lot more. we've been a learning. Lot. We whole thought way. we was just going to sit down and just talk, put it up. <coughs> and, you know, prior to that, I had never put a video on YouTube. And to be fair, I come from TV, so I don't mm -hmm. really know the space either. Because he right. would be like, "I'm looking for you to," and I was like, "But I don't know." <laughs> he didn't know. He didn't know what? just like I didn't know. So I don't wait, know what are y'all talking about? In what ways? So what he, we knew we knew this part, mm -hmm. right? I but, have sound stages. I've been right. doing TV for 18 years. We knew the production. I could film it. We could I, film it. Yeah. But once we got it, it was like, okay, so how do we put it on YouTube? And oh, how do we put yeah. it on Apple where yeah. they can listen to it? We yeah. had no clue. Yeah. We had, My personal credit card was signing up the Apple thing. <laughs> yes. And then at yeah. some point I was like, wait, do we got a business account for this? Like, right, right. Could it not be on my card? And like, do you know that me neither one of us had ever uploaded a video to YouTube? We didn't no. know how. Keywords, I didn't, tagging things. Keyword. I I didn't learn that how to do that until a year in because yeah. we had someone else doing it. I mean, you showed me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That <laughs> Ironically, was out after we did the prank with uh, Nelk Boys. Yep. Shout out to to the Nelk Boys yep. or, or Jesse specifically. Shout out to Jesse uh, yeah. from Full Sin, I should say, because I don't know what, he left that yeah. group, but <clears throat> but he was putting us up on game too. Like yep. he was like, this is, and they have Full Sin and the Nelk. They got a very successful podcast yep. now. A crazy channel with 12 million followers but he was like nah this is how and i'm telling court like oh bro dude knows what we're trying to do and yep this is what he told me and then yes. we had august along the way yep trying to give us game and that's right and big shout out to gangster chronicles and big steel yep, yep. who was god trying to tell us that's and right. guide us because we had a lot of people telling <laughs> us that's right these pieces of info we didn't know yeah so like gangster chronicles Helping us out. Gangster Chronicles. Oh, Nelk, Nelk and Full Sin. People Nelk wouldn't even know. Nelk and Full Sin, I'll be honest with you, they gave us the boost that we needed yep. initially from uh. him pranking me. You know, yeah. I don't know. Did you see the prank? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so him pranking me, that he gave us the booster. Shout and out shout to out to uh, my editor, Mike, who set that up. Yeah. Because Mike was over there and he was like, man, we should, I'm doing all these pranks. And I was like, and I was like, oh, it would probably help to, because mm -hmm. yeah. they get so many views. And I was like, <laughs> you want to prank court? And everybody was like, eh. <laughs> and I was like, nah, f it, let's do it. Like, yeah. I'll deal with it. I'll yeah. deal with it. Yeah. If it's if it's ugly, I'll deal with it. Because that's my brother. Because yeah. I know Court's heart. I'm like, right. yes. he a good dude. We just going to piss him off. Yeah. Pro probably. Yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't yeah. know. But yeah, shout out to Mike. Because Mike really, yeah. or he orchestrated and, putting that together. And, and that's, the, that's the thing, too. <clears throat> the other part of it is, even though people mainly see me, yeah. you know, it's a whole team that helps this thing go forward. Like yeah. even the Blue Coast team. Um, Jason, uh, Tony, John. Exactly. It's, Jack, it's a, first one yeah. he was first uh, yeah. doing it. It's a, it's a whole Eric. team. I'm, Eric, oh man, shout out to Eric. It's funny how they say a producer and the editor have a, a, a relationship, a deeper relationship. Yeah. Me and me and Eric, shout out to Eric. Man, that's my guy. We be in the trenches, you know. Uh hours of notes. Hours. Hours, hours of notes. That's know? the other thing y'all don't see. We we sit down with someone for two hours. <laughs> yep. And then Eric, the editor, gets that footage. Yep. He does what we call a string out. He puts it together. And yep. it's the full episode. Yep. And people sometimes people say they don't want an episode anymore. Mm -hmm. Um and then so that episode goes to court and me, <laughs> but I don't watch it like he does. But then someone has to watch that entire two yep. hours again yep. after we just did it. Give notes, watch it again, give notes, watch it again Yeah. to make sure, you know, and it's it's not like we're editing what's being said, but, you know, sometimes people cough or whatever. You yeah. got to you gotta trim and it And what up. it is, too, is, is the creative part that I didn't understand is the fact that you have to um, uh, even – 
like with the clipping. You Making know, it's segments. a science to yeah. all of this shit. Yeah. Like, and we had to learn that. Crash Which we course. still don't have down. We still, we still are still learning. figuring it out. We're still figuring out from yeah. thumbnails. We didn't been through two graphic artists. Uh, shout out. <laughs> I can't remember the, my first guy. Josh, my start apologies. with a J or something like that. Yeah, I can't remember his name, but yeah. shout out to him. Uh, Hitman, uh, who is the No Limit, uh, gra- main No Limit uh, graphic designer. He does our thumbnails now. Uh, again, like you said, August. Shout out to uh, Tiffany Gaines, who just recently came in, and she helps with stuff. Yeah. Um, so it's a whole team, even though, like I said, you guys may see me in the forefront. Um, but I've enjoyed it. And the thing is, I was talking with my wife. Um, it's funny how- Shout out Yomi. Yeah, strong, yeah. Behind sure. every strong man exactly. is a strong woman. Every time, every yes, time. Um, even in recent time with uh, Crazy Bone, you know, he had came to the yeah, show. Yeah. And then right after that, Got he sick took sick. He yeah. took sick. But <clears throat> I was telling my wife, I was like, damn, I was really concerned about him, you know? And I was like, man- Were you gen- some, genuinely a good dude? Genuinely a good dude, mm-hmm. and I'm concerned. I said, but- when you share a moment like this and people take the time out their lives to come and be vulnerable yeah. and give you their story and connect with you. Yeah. And it's something that y'all put together that will live on. When yeah. we all pass away, this moment we share mm-hmm. is going to keep yeah. going. And it, I don't know. It's almost like it's, <clears throat> some, it's a bond there almost. Mm-hmm. Man, I could tell you the the moments that like, again, we, we had collective conversations about. We would watch the other the other podcasts mm-hmm. and like whether it was salacious or whatever it was, like mm-hmm. we sat down on multiple occasions, like what should our angle be? Yep. And what are we doing? And I was like, well, I mean, here's the thing, man, people respect you. Back to the face card. Yep. And I was like, I don't think we should lean into the bullshit. I don't think we should right. lean into the shit that'll get people indicted. And, yep. and we should make sure this, I won't mention someone, but there's a certain weightlifter. Yeah. Who came on and we took a lot of stuff of his story <laughs> That's out. Right. That's that right. It was just like he didn't ask. No. He didn't ask. He you didn't and ask. I after he walked out, we said, We're gonna go ahead and take that out. Oh man. Uh, man. But the bond, I'll never forget Watts homie Quan coming in. Yeah. And y'all talking. I had I had lost a grandmother who had raised me and I was super close. He had lost his parents, his dad. His dad yep. And you had lost your mom. Yep. Uh rest in peace to all of them, loved ones. But y'all had a moment, yeah, between y'all, which that's real. And I'm tearing up thinking about my grand, and it got yeah. real. The cameras and the podcast, man, all the of a sudden, wasn't even all of a sudden, it was three grown men, yep, talking about the tragedy of the gangbang and stuff that took his life's or his father's life, yep, and just life in general with yep. your mom and with my grandmother. And I was like, damn, we really, man. Like, I, I like, I think of Watts homie Quan today, and I go yeah. like, that's the homeboy, <laughs> yeah. The bull- it's like, the homie. there's a bond there now. I love that dude. Yeah. I feel for him. I empathize in that moment. And it's crazy because we shed tears. Yeah. <clears throat> real. Yeah. I, I, I didn't know where it came from. It crept up on me. Well, Literally, yeah. we just talking. And before I know it, well, I'm he's, like, oh, he was what? in a moment. Yeah. Because it's that what his dad was real. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And, and yeah, we can all empathize because we're human, which is, I think, the beautiful part about this. Yep. Mm-hmm. Which is like, we come from this gangster rap. You grew up mm-hmm. with your dad on this gangster rap. Mm hmm. Uh, but we're, We've grown. We have grown. And, and we're showing an appreciation to the artists and, and, and the art form and the genre, mm-hmm. but it's blossomed from there to having athletes and actors. <clears throat> yeah, for and, sure. And just connecting with people on a human level. Let, we want to hear your story, tell mm-hmm. you that we respect you and appreciate you. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what we set forth to set us apart too, you yeah. know, because like I tell people, it's enough mess in the culture, right? But we wanted no to doubt. provide that no balance, mm-hmm. you know. So when you come here, I wanted to provide a safe space for everybody to come and tell their stories. Like I've had other uh, content creators, even just recently, I had yeah. a content creator uh, reach out to me through another homeboy. Yeah. And uh, you know, he 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 took umbrage with a guest we had on. Actually, we had Mob James on. Yeah. You know, shout out to Mob James, who, which was another vulnerable uh, episode oh, as well. Mob James yeah. came on and shed real tears. Yeah. Um, and but James, I had another James content creator reach out to me, and he took umbrage with you know us having Mob James and different things like that. But I'm saying this to <clears> say, <throat> you know, we don't create. We didn't create a platform to to you know police people's story and we're not investigative reporters you know we (laughs) allow people to come on here tell their truths tell their realities and one thing i have learned in this space too is everybody's you know perspective and perception of what happened could be different we had lazy bone and crazy bone who both been together 40 years who who recalled the same 
circumstances, but came away with two different understandings yeah. of what transpired. Yeah. You know what I mean? So um, I just want to throw that out there that, you know, because we've had guests on where people come on, like somebody says something about, oh, Snoopy Badass. Snoopy Badass said that he was this age, but he's really this age. Y'all don't do y'all research. I'm like, we not asking for a government ID when you come in here. <laughs> You think this is like that's real. this is this is <clears throat> this is a safe place. This is for mm-hmm. people us to make the culture look good. I we think, keep it real, right? Yeah. But but we not here to look for faults and look for flaws and inconsistencies and do all that. Well, and also I think what people don't understand, we do we do do our research, but yes. just like when you sit down when you sit down with, for, with someone for hours, right? Because I've seen comments even in stuff that I've said, right? Like. It's interesting because when you sit down with someone for the period of time you sit down with someone, yep. you're not always going to get it right. right. We're not asking for someone's ID. We also will, I, I don't think people understand, well, even when we have artists on, they don't even remember which order their albums no, that's came real. out. Like, that's real. We're talking about moments in time that are from the 90s. Exactly. The, the early exactly. and mid 90s. So sometimes we'll quote something there, and then people call you out, oh, he ain't no stand up NorCal dude or else he yeah. would have referenced oh, A, B, C, and D. I didn't remember to talk about yeah. that at the time. Right you know? here, right but now. That's, in this but that's the, that's the beauty of it, though, bro, yeah. is learning the, yeah. the, 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 the nuances and learning the culture of social media, yeah. especially YouTube, right? Oh, that's where funny. the entertainment mm-hmm. is, right? Oh, some people and you, hate. And you have to, you have to allow people, <laughs> yeah. you know, the odyssey of recollection. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Like, that's just what it is. You know, that's human yeah. nature. And, and again, it doesn't take away from our, our authenticity just mm-hmm. because we may have allowed someone to come on and say something. Yeah. But then the people in their lives are like, that's not true. Y'all not keeping it real. It's like, come on, stop it. You know. Well, that's stay true. That's stay truth. And they say that's stay that. true. That doesn't mean we stand by. We just asking it, them the question in here and answer. Yes, exactly. So that's what we do here. And then, you know, we we switched it up a little bit in recent mm-hmm. months and we added my oldest. Yeah. My oldest child. New Rachel perspective. <laughs> yeah. New perspective. New perspective. I wanted to bring in you know, the young millennial and from a female perspective, and she's somebody that been laced and gamed up. Yeah. How was your, uh, <laughs> how's it been you joining the, the squad? You know, it is crazy because when you first launched, remember I was in Kansas City and it mm-hmm. was during COVID. So yeah. we were all on lockdown. And because it's hometown, I just remember like, you know, just randomly you go to places and obviously like I got his whole face. <laughs> and people, <laughs> it'd be like, you know, they call you little court. I'd be like, oh man, I see your dad and this and this and that. And, you know, people, they don't understand. Like he's always been like, like he's new to a lot of people, but he's always been like this to me. So I'm just yeah, like, yeah. I didn't watch him do a movie and mm-hmm. perform and put out albums. And so to see the growth from, oh, okay, my dad is doing this thing on YouTube now to, <laughs> you know, it, then you started getting, you know, these different guests. And then now, I, you know, I came back to Cali and now I'm on here and, you know, seeing the response that, you know, people like the chemistry between all of us and the growth yeah. and where the trajectory of where it's going. It's exciting. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I, I think the beautiful part too mm-hmm. about it is to see you here because I've watched you grow up and, yes. and your siblings grow up. <laughs> yes. It really is a family thing because mm-hmm. your son, Yep. Used to come here yep. every single show and help <laughs> yeah. out. He was supposed to be my helper, and he he helped me <laughs> yeah. and then be also and watching then, TV. And then me and this man have traveled to Europe. My mm-hmm. my mother has mm-hmm. been in here. He's yep. known my mother for twenty plus years. Yeah, and your daughters have come in, yep. and wifey supports. And like honestly, man, thank you to the people who have subbed, and also thank you to the people who have believed in us in our own circles. Because yep. my mother, your for wife. Sure. For sure. Our our siblings, our, my children. You know, we take mm-hmm. time away from my two boys yep. to make sure I could do this till nine o'clock at night yeah. and get these guests in. Exactly. And like it takes a lot. I, yeah. th- I, mm-hmm. I don't think people realize sometimes don't. we shoot till nine, ten, yep. eleven, stay up all night. That's right. Just to put it out and hope that people enjoy it. And, hope and that enjoy, people enjoy it. Enjoy the story. And then my uh close friends back home, John and Rob, shout out to them. They just lost their mother and uh and they lost their father last year. And they used to hit me up. Their, mm-hmm. their parents, who remember me as a kid, uh, the Ars Mendez brothers, their parents would be like, oh, I'm proud of you. Their mom would hit me and be like, I seen a little clip. Yeah. Or I was scrolling through and yeah. I seen it and I'm proud of you. And you'd be like, damn, that's, that's what's up. Like, that's yeah. dope. Because, you, yeah. you know, you never know where the love's going to come from. That's right. Mm-hmm. And who's going to see this, this info that we're putting out in the world. Mm-hmm. So I just appreciate everybody who stood behind. And, and it's so cool to see you here mm-hmm. knowing that it started – in 04 with me with a big ass camera shooting you in the Lexus. Like, what you think about your dad yeah. doing movies? Yeah. Oh, my dad's Still dope. Here. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's it's dope to see the evolution yes. over the decades yeah. of like 
this family that we've and created. You know, you know what, what I, I and I also I want to give a shout out to uh, a special shout out to to Ice T. You know, because mm-hmm. yeah, I think yeah. I think Ice T really helped us get to the next level. Yeah. And the fact how he ingratiated us, how he accepted us, and and not only that, you know, uh, Ice T's been on here twice. Yeah, and he's given us the biggest cosign out of mm-hmm. all of our guests. For sure, out of all of our guests, For and sure. he continues to support as he will post. He'll mm-hmm. post clips on social media. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah. I really have to give love and, and show love to Ice T. No, Ice is. He, he's and he's always told me, man, when I come out West Court, I'm coming to you. Like, yeah. you know, so I remember I remember him. when you had said like, man, I think I still do it. Yeah. And he, he's a fan of or not a fan. I shouldn't say a fan. He's watching the show. Yeah. yeah. But we got to go to Arizona. I was yeah. like, I got uh, <laughs> tell me when to get the flight. <laughs> yeah. Like, and we did. Tell me when to get the flight. And we did. We went to Arizona to make sure. Sh- I mean, he's that important to the culture. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And doesn't do a lot. So the fact that because of mm-hmm. you. Yep who you are he wanted to do that yeah uh it is a testament to you yeah and Solid. obviously with ice man he's a legend so just yeah. having that caliber of a person absolutely the and, and in the same respect let me give respect where it's due to p yep mm-hmm. uh, to my brother master yes p. Yep. to no limit p yep. silk came out silk yeah. um so to all the major people from day one, like P who supported, yep. he had the whole sponsorship for the, yeah, that's the right. pancake mix and the <laughs> yeah, cereal, had everything. the wrap yeah. snacks, a big, <laughs> big shout out to P, um, Ice, yeah, and, and everybody who everybody. really co-signed. Absolutely. From, from, uh, Jay Prince. Jay Prince. That Jay was my bucket list. You Jay know. Prince is all of our bucket shout, list. Shout out, to the, shout out to the old man. You know, he, he yeah. definitely showed up. And, uh, and he was know, original. He was like yeah. in the first batch. He was of, one of the first ones. Yeah. It wasn't even proven. It was just at that time he just moved on the sense of us having an yeah. idea. He hadn't seen anything. So again, know? no. And taking, shout out to Julia Beverly for for helping to facilitate yeah, that as well. But, but Ice for sure. Ice shows yes. you so much yes. love. Yes, and, and continues to do so. Yeah, and continues to do so. See, you mm-hmm. have we have some guests to come on. And they just do their thing and they go. They don't support yeah. it. They don't yeah. endorse it. They don't repost mm-hmm. it or nothing. Yeah. Ice wasn't like that. Ice was like, nah, he repost. Every time I tag him, he putting it up there, putting yeah. it up there. And then when he come on, man, listen, court is the truth. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I'm only going to do it with. So, yeah. yeah. And much love to every other artist who who been reposting though. X rated. Yes, yes, sir. Well, you repost. Shout out to my brother X rated. Yes. Yeah. Uh, brother Lynch Hung Tech reposted nine. the thing. Brother Lynch Hung. He ain't even reposts. been on the show, but he reposted the Dave Weiner episode he did. He and said, did. I'm coming. And, and so for the artists who appreciate what we're Pastor doing. Troy repost yeah, too? Pastor Troy as yeah. well. Um PT and you know what? And shout out to all the other platforms. Cause like Rock the Bells rock with us real tough. It's Joe Budden used the clip. Joe, Joe Budden. Joe shout Budden out to Joe Budden for 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 uh shouting us out as well. Um, uh, but like rock the bells consistently, you know, um, uh, hip hop, what is it? Hip hop histories, yeah. hip hop stories, hip hop wolf. There's a lot of, um, other platforms that repost yeah. and, and put our stuff in front of hundreds of thousands, millions of people. And so you, shout out to them as well. you know what we also have to give appreciation. So now this is just like a just shout out flowers it gotta to everybody. Be. It gotta be. But the other thing that we have to, and it started. It started with us doing this podcast and then us having a conversation of like, we should send you. I mean, you are the face yeah. of the show, right? I never mm-hmm. really wanted to be on right. it. You've told that story yeah. a bunch of times. Yeah, neither one of y'all wanted to be on it. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but for the people who have embraced you outside, like mm-hmm. we drove all the way down to do Gangster Chronicles. Yes. Like, shout out to them. Shout out to Adam Big 22. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Adam 22 and, for and having sharp. me on No Jumper and, and sharp. sharp twice. And, yeah. uh, and bringing you to No Jumper. That's right. Because we did look at your guys' platform. Yep. You guys are leaders in, in this space. And shout out to Big Steel. Big Steel gave me yeah. a lot of game. Who is my business partner, by the way, but he continues to give yeah. me game. He laced me early on. Yeah. Um, and I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. Real life street stars who in Dallas, <clears throat> uh, mogul. Uh, Art from Art of Dialogue. Shout out to him. Art. What's the one in Atlanta you did with that? Uh, uh, Off the Beehive. porch? Oh, Beehive. Beehive. Yeah. I did Beehive. Shout out to Beehive. Um, my girl Jazzy. I did her. She brought me on the radio and mm-hmm. interviewed me in Atlanta. Yeah. Um, uh, but I, I have to shout out Art B. Uh, not Art B. <laughs> but shout Art, out Art B. But shout out Art Sacramento B. Sacramento in the house. But, but you know? Art of Dialogue. Because he took it upon himself. We never met. We had never known each yeah. other. But he saw me doing my thing. Yeah. He would reach out to me and give me advice. Like, hey, post like this. Do this. Change mm. this. Don't do that. Yeah. Just out the clear blue. Yeah. Start giving me love like that. And yeah. his shit is taking off, man. And 
you know, shout out to Art. And shout out to, oh, man, I can't forget, for real, for real, shout out to Boss Talk 101 yeah. in Dallas. Boss Talk has embraced me. That's family. Uh, Miss Jamaica and ECEO. They, when I went to Dallas, they they definitely embraced me. I've been, I've done Boss Talk twice, but ECEO, he know what he done did behind the scenes for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And supporting me. So Boss Talk 101, got to get him so love. If y'all ain't subscribed to Boss Talk 101, y'all go holler at them. Go subscribe yeah. right now. It's go been, subscribe. It's been a great journey, bro. It I, has. I appreciate you pulling me along for the yeah, ride. Yeah, I appreciate you. Uh, but hold on. We got to give you your flowers, though. Because oh, even though, you know, y'all see my face, you see me yeah. talking and see me in all the content, the fact of the matter is none of this would be possible. You couldn't even see me if it weren't for him. You know, this is his place. This Y'all <laughs> only see a part of this. This is a big-ass sound stage. LeBron James uh, films in here. You know, yeah. uh, there's a lot of big production that goes on here. Yeah. So him and his team, they accommodate me. Uh, he always, I want to change the setup. He said, okay, I see what I can do. You know <clears> what I mean? So no doubt. shout out to you. And yeah, I appreciate man. you for backing me up. You hey, know man. what I mean? And, and, and making me. sure I look the best, making sure I'm the best in everything that we do. So no doubt. No doubt. I couldn't, you know. He he facilitates that. It's so. a brotherhood. It's been that. That's part. right. That's we right. said it since back in the day. It's, That's right. It's just been like we both come from the same essence. Yeah. Of of, of can't you? Everybody know Kansas City and Sac. Man. Yeah, we got Kansas that, City and Sac. We got that love and relationship, and we met. We both met our first like year out. Yeah. Here. That's right. And so ever since <laughs> wow. then, for for decades now, multiple, mm -hmm. it's been like, hey, bro, I, I see you. You're off doing your thing. We talk weekly or. Yep. We, we never really lost contact, uh, and I was out doing my thing and yeah. making my name in TV, but anytime we could circle back, it's always been a pleasure. That's right. That's it's, right. I've always been down. Oh, you want, we're going to do uh, Architects of Hip Hop? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's, let's do it. Right, See, we even went to Kansas City and shot the uh, <clears throat> the pilot with the Cash cars. Cash cars. Yeah, that was yeah man. You, look, you gotta you gotta throw a lot against the wall to see what sticks. See what sticks. You know bro. what I mean? And, That's the game. And this is this has been a beautiful thing, and I'm glad That's the that game. this is the thing that sticks because it feels natural. Yeah, it does. And it's, and it's and, it's been a beautiful thing. And not to mention, you know, in this journey, we landed the the the, the deal with Revolt TV. You yeah. know what I mean? So think yeah. about that in that short time. Yeah. in in less than two years you know uh so man it's possible you know so 100k it man it is a hundred thousand subs on youtube man thanks to y'all and thanks to everybody else that we've mentioned and uh man listen this year 2024 gonna be big um we got a lot of new and great guests uh of course we getting bigger bigger guests but we still gonna yeah. keep it hood and then another thing i want to point out Man, shout out to the West Coast. Shout out to L.A. You know, that's my second home. I'm from yeah, Kansas City, yes. Missouri. But listen, L.A. has really embraced me. Y'all have embraced wow. Holding Court Podcast. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize I was a West Coast podcast until y'all yeah, told are. me. Yeah, I told Kansas are. City straight up. I said, man, listen, L.A. claiming hey. me. <laughs> Yeah. LA is claiming. Hey, me. when we went to Juneteenth yeah. with my friend and everybody yeah. was, even yeah. I was looking, I'm like, it was like big court. Yeah. Big court. <laughs> Homie was I'm like, oh it's, shit. Yeah. We, we can't deny LA. West Coast. It's been decades. We about Lamert. for both of us. <laughs> no, this is real. This yeah. is real. We can't deny LA. I I'm love, born and raised in Kansas City, Missouri, but Shout I out. represent LA as well. Yeah. This is home. I've been here 20 years and y'all show me nothing but love. And actually, it's funny because the analytics show that too. You yeah. know, I remember when Revolt said to me, they introduced me to some people like, yeah, we got Big Court from Holden Court, one of the, you know, most popular West Coast podcasts. Mm -hmm. So in my head, I'm thinking West Coast podcast. Like, what? <laughs> yep. And so then as I got into the analytics, I was like, um, I'm a West Coast podcast. <laughs> nice. Well, you know what? I'm from SAC. So we a West Coast podcast anyway. Yeah. Shout out to SAC, specifically the Nutty North, if you're from the North. Yeah. Uh, so, thank y'all for the love and support. We see y'all when he go live talking, yeah, talking right. at North Sac. That's right. Uh, so shout, shout out, out to, Kansas City. Shout out to Kansas City. That's the home team. That's the home mm -hmm. town. Kansas yeah. City, Missouri, and KCK, Kansas City, Kansas. Mm -hmm. um, but then again, shout out to our top markets, which are the West Coast, uh, Texas, Ohio, yeah. Florida, and New York. Mm -hmm. So all of y'all people that's rocking with us, man, and every from every other place, but those especially, man, much love. We appreciate y'all. Yeah. So that's it, hundred thousand, man. 100, so I guess we'll see y'all at two hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, two hundred thousand. We'll do it again we'll, at two hundred thousand. We'll 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 spin the block. All right. So we appreciate y'all, man. Big Court, Rachel, Renee, hey. producer Ken, hundred thousand, Holding Court podcast. Salute. Appreciate y'all. <laughs>